everyone. Welcome back to Cooking with Kani, and thanks for tuning in for another cooking video. Today, I'm going to share with you stuffed broccoli and cheese chicken breast. I love this recipe. It's very flavorful. And what I like most about it is that you do not have to cook another vegetable because your vegetable is already in the chicken. So all of the uh, amounts will be in the description box, and let's just get right into what you need. Of course, you're going to need some chicken breast. You're going to need some broccoli. And you're going to need some cheese. Now, I'm using this Italian three cheese, which is Parmesan, Romano, and Asagio. I really love that combination, but you can use any cheese that you want in this. You're going to need some cream cheese, red bell pepper. And let's talk about the seasonings. I love to use this Montreal chicken seasoning. It is so good. I use it all the time. And I'm going to use some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some pepper. You will not need any salt because that Montreal seasoning has salt in it. But you can use any seasoning that you want. So let's just get right into it. So I'm cutting up the broccoli florets in smaller pieces and I'm taking some of the stem off because if you leave them too chunky, it will be hard to stuff them in your chicken breast. So just cut them up in small pieces and I put them in a microwave safe container and I'm going to put a little bit of water in that container and steam them in the microwave for about two minutes. You don't want them completely cooked. You still want them to have a little bite to it um, because it will continue to cook in the oven. So small pieces and a little bit of water, just enough to uh, halfway cover them. You don't want to cover them all the way in the microwave for two minutes. Now I just mixed up the um, cream cheese just a little bit to try to get it going. And I drained um, the water from the broccoli and I added that to the cream cheese mixture along with the diced red bell pepper. Um, so then you just want to mix that together. Now I will say um, it's better if your cream cheese is more at room temperature. Mine was a little cold still, so I had to work it a little bit. But if it's at room temperature, it will mix um, much easier um, for you. You want to mix that thoroughly. And it did help that the broccoli was still slightly warm, so that helped um, warm up the cream cheese a bit as well. Okay, so now it's time to add your cheese. You can add as much cheese as you want, um, but I think probably about a half a cup of cheese will do you because you do have the cream cheese. And now I'm just going to season the mixture, um, the cheese mixture with some pepper, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. And you just want to mix that thoroughly. And once that's all mixed together, you can put that to the side. And now it is time to prepare the chicken breast for stuffing. You want to wash your chicken breast and now you want to butterfly them. And the easiest way to do this is to make sure that you have a very sharp knife. And you want to just start in the middle and kind of work your way in. You see how I'm just like gliding the knife across and working my way in. And you want to go as far as you can to create a nice pocket, but you want to make sure you do not cut it all the way. So you want it to um, kind of just lay flat a little bit, but still be intact. So going slow and using a sharp knife and just kind of gliding it does the trick. So now I have my butterfly chicken and a great surface to um, add my stuffing to it. So now I'm liberally seasoning both sides with the Montreal chicken seasoning. Uh, like I said, you can use whatever you want, but if you haven't tried it, this seasoning, give it a try. I really, really like it. And um, I'm sure you can find it from any grocery store. You, um, I got this from Sam's because I know I like it and I got a big um, container, but you can get smaller ones from the grocery store to just to give it a try. Now I'm adding a good amount of the stuffing to the right side of the chicken breast. Um, you don't want to put too much where you can't close it, but you want to put enough so that when the cheese is melt, you still feel like you have a good amount of broccoli and everything um, in the chicken breast. Um, so I fold it over and what I'd like to do is I just like to press and pack the cheese in on the side just to make sure that it stays in. You can also use toothpicks. Um, I haven't used them. Haven't really had 
had a problem with them opening up, but I think toothpicks will make sure that, you know, everything stays in. So now we're going to stir them in the pan on each side before we put them in the oven to cook. So now I have a little bit of olive oil in the pan and I'm going to sear the chicken breast on medium high heat for about two minutes on each side. You wanna make sure that you use a oven safe um, frying pan so that you can transfer it right to the oven. Now it's time to flip them over and I just use a spatula and these tongs. It helps me flip them over without the filling coming out. And this is the color that you want on them. You want nice color on them before you put them in the oven. So um, now I just cook them for another two minutes on this side and then I'm gonna transfer them to a 400 uh, degree oven and cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So here's the finished product. Uh, it was absolutely delicious and it is now one of my staples and go-to recipes. You can change this up any way you want to with the different cheeses and make it your own. Um, but I do hope you make it and if you do, leave me a comment below and let me know how you like it. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time, happy cooking.